Hi everybody, it's Veronica and happy Saturday to everyone. Um, I had an awesome day today. Um, my husband and I went shopping together and we went um, we went to have dim sum for lunch. And if you live in Houston, there's this really great um, sort of, it's called um, Gigi's and it's in the Galleria Mall and they have amazing dim sum. I, I think I think it's on weekends till 2 p.m., but I'm not exactly sure if they do it every day, but I know for sure on Saturdays and Sundays it's till 2 p.m., and it's amazing, so definitely try it. Um, this is kind of going to be like a collective haul of some things I got today and then things I've kind of ordered online, and the first thing I'm going to show you because I promised to do this is my new Chanel sunglasses. So they just came in the Chanel bag, um, really cute, and then this is the case for them. Some of you may have already seen this on my blog, but I'm just showing it for people who might have not. It's the nice um, quilted case, and then it has one of those little um, oh, little wipies in there. So really like that case. It's nice and hard, protects your sunglasses. I always put them in the case. Um, and then these are the actual sunglasses. Um, and for better pictures, just visit my blog, um, veronicasblushing.com. I'll put the URL below. But um, this is them. They're quite large. And then as you can see, they have the... Uh, the little bows on the side, the little CC. So um, this is them. They're really pretty. Really enjoy them. They're the tor they're the tor tortoise um, print ones. So um, they're not black. They kind of look black on camera, but they're the tortoise. So I really love these. I'm gonna put them back in my case now, so they're nice and safe. Um, I'll do makeup first because I just picked up a few items today. Um, I did pick up a Mac Studio Fix powder. Um, sometimes when I notice I'm like halfway through or three quarters of the way through, I'll just buy a new one um, just to have on hand for when I run out. And then the other thing I got from, um, I heard this was a repromote, but um, it's a plush glass and it's called Fashion Fanatic. And it's this gorgeous um, pink color. And um, so it is the plumping kind. And then this is just, I don't know if you can see that. It's just a really nice light pink. Um, it looks like it has a little bit of like a sil silver shimmer to it, but it's very, very fine. Um, and I just love like a nice pink lip gloss and I don't currently own any plush glasses. So I just decided, um, I saw it on uh, one of my fellow bloggers vlogs, um, Mel from My Pink I Love You. And um, she said it, this was a really good gloss. So I picked it up because I love a pink gloss. I tend to, one of my favorites is Max Underage. And this is like not as nude or light as that. It's more of like a fun, not a bubblegum pink, but somewhere in between what um, underage is and like a bubblegum pink. It's kind of like a nice in-between point to those. So love that, picked that up at MAC. And then at Sephora, gosh, y'all are just gonna, anyways, I can't believe I bought this, but um, it's the NARS Gaty blush. It's spelled G, here, I'll just hold it up so y'all can see it. G-A-I-E-T-Y. Um, Honestly, I've talked a lot in the, my videos about how I only use the Bobbi Brown Peony blush, so I really should stop buying blushes, whether it's cream or powder. But for some reason, I just could not resist this color. I've seen people talking about it on blogs, and it's a limited edition color. And I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm just praying that I love this on my skin. This is the color. It is just a gorgeous bright pink. I wonder if I can swatch it for you here. There's what it looks like on my finger. So like I said, it's just this gorgeous bright pink. Um, it's, I heard that it's sort of lighter and more sheer than NARS Desire. Um, so, you know, for spring, I just thought with a tan, a nice little pink glow on my cheek, something different might be fun. You know, I'm gonna try it out and see how I like it on my skin. If I don't like it, I can sell it or return it or whatever. But I really do think this is a beautiful color and you know, maybe it's time to switch it up a little from the peony blush. And then the next thing I got is something I didn't even expect to get, but a good friend of mine recommended this. It's the La Vanilla Vanilla Coconut um, Deodorant. And I kind of didn't really get the point of this at first because it's not an antiperspirant, but a girl who worked, um, who works at Sephora, actually, I was asking her about it and she said, this is what she uses every day and that she doesn't need to use an antiperspirant. She said, you know, if you're going to work out or something or sweat a lot, then yeah, um, you know, put an antiperspirant on. But if you're just having like a day where you're going to work, then this is fine. And, um, it smells amazing and it's quite, you know, there's quite a lot of product in there. So this um, retails for $18. So um, I'm gonna test it out and see how I like it. It's a beautiful, beautiful smell. And it smells much better than the secret stuff I'm using. So, um, you know, hopefully that will be good and I'll definitely review it. And then one other thing that I'm gonna show you real quickly. A lot of you might remember from my last video, I got um, this little heart, this rose gold heart ring from Catbird New York. And I do have the box here, that's the name, Catbird. 
Um, and then uh, you'll notice I'm wearing it with another band. So this band is new and it's the Stella and Dot Eternity Band. And I got it from um, the, my rep who sent me all the other Stella and Dot stuff, Katie. Um, and I did, I did buy this one with my own money. Um, and I absolutely love it. So you can see now with my wedding set that I have the rose gold band on this hand and the silver band, Eternity Band on that hand. So this is my la latest combo. And by the way, my nails are... Um, Fiji by Essie for any one rendering. So I'm really loving these attorney bands. They're so just dainty and beautiful and I love wearing them. I think they look amazing. Okay, I'm rambling on. So I promised you all that I would show you like a couple weeks back the stuff I ordered from Gap and from Old Navy and I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna do it right now. The first thing I got from Gap is this shirt. Um, this, it's just like a, it's just a loose, really long top. And um, this is a medium tall. I ordered it online because um, there was a 30% off discount versus in store, it was full price. And looking back, I would have gotten a size small tall. In the store, the regular size small was like, the arms were really tight and it was like, I, it was too short. But I wish I would have ordered a small tall because this is a little too baggy for me. So when I wash it, I'm gonna see if I can't shrink it um, and maybe it will fit um, a little better, but we'll see, I'll let you all know. Okay, and the second thing I got at Gap, okay, I didn't think this out well enough because these are all tangled, I kept everything on hangers, is a pair of the um, the Always Skinny Jeans. These are um, a six, a 28 or six. Um, I find that Gap jeans fit pretty true to size. I can take a four in some things and a t I can actually take a 27, like my seven for all mankinds are 27s. I get a 28 in these. Um, I just find that they fit really good in that size. I could technically go down to a 27, but then they're like to the point where they're like so tight that they're uncomfortable and every brand is different. So these are the always skinny jeans and they're the dark denim. And these are the regular length, just as an FYI, um, you know, a lot of you know that I'm five foot 10, the, the tall length. So I tried on in the store a six tall and it was huge on me. Like, I don't know, I thought the tall just meant that it had like a longer inseam, but the actual jean was not tight on me at all. I would have had to go down to a four tall for it to fit, but for I didn't wanna to go to a tall because the tall was so long that it was starting to bunch at my ankles. So I just get the, even though I'm five foot 10, I have a 34 inch inseam, I still get the regular length in the Gap Always Skinny Jean. So I already have these in black, I wore them today, I love them, um, and now I have them in the dark, dark um, blue. So I love that. The next thing, I actually wore this earlier this week and I just didn't take outfit photos. This is this beautiful blouse, it's like a silky soft blouse and it's got the little tiny, tiny black polka dots. Um, this, is just, this is just a size small, so regular. It doesn't come in tall, so I just ordered it in the regular. And it's just a nice, beautiful blouse. You can wear it on its own with jeans. You can tuck it into pencil skirts, a nice versatile piece. And I liked how bright and white it was for summer, so or spring rather, it's not summer yet. Um, the next thing I got at Gap is this tote. It's pink on the inside, has some pockets. Um, it's like, it's called the color block tote. So it's um, this khaki, it's not really khaki actually. It's like a gray color and then the bottom is the hot pink and then it has these leather handles and then it also has a leather strap. The reason I got this is because I thought it would be really good for traveling because you can kind of just throw it over your arm and carry it onto the plane as like your purse or carry on. I always like bring a carry on luggage to stow away. And then I bring like a larger purse bag like this. And I carry on like my makeup, my wallet, you know, my camera, all my valuables, my jewelry. I always carry it on in a big tote like this. And I just thought this was so fun and pretty, like the color's nice. So I really like that. And this was like, I wanna say this was like 49.50, but I got it for 30% um, off. <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat is um, acting up today, so my apologies. Okay, and then I'll show you two things I got from Old Navy, and these are also things I got a couple weeks ago. You, you've you already seen this on my blog. It's the chambray shirt from Old Navy. This is a medium tall, fits wonderfully. The, definitely the tall length. I almost think that for a tall, this is actually like shorter than a tall should be, but it's much better than what's in the store in the regular sizing. And I think this was like 24.50, but I got, I got a discount on it because I ordered online. Always do that, y'all. If you see something in the store and everything's regular price, go to the website because it might be like 25 or 30% off there and order online and just write down all your sizes. And then I got this nice um, blouse from Old Navy. It's just a black, very simple. It's collarless. It doesn't have like the, you know, like a dress shirt collar. And then it's got little buttons 
down the front and two little pockets. So it's just soft and sh sort of, it's not sheer. Um, it, it's like a cotton material, but it has that like sheer look to it. So really like that. I haven't worn it yet. So hoping to plan to wear that in the next few weeks. And then um, another thing I picked up today, and this really surprised me because I had not intended to get, you know, a dress or anything. So um, I don't know. I walked into Macy's, you know, shopping with my husband. I walked into Macy's and I just saw this dress and I was just like blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try that on. And it's a Rachel Roy dress. Um, there's the tag. Um, so this is the print. And as you, I'll show you the back because the back is really cool. So that's the back. It has like a See how you can see it's like cut out there and then on the side panels it has the same print that it does on the bottom. Um, so you can see each side of the dress has the little um, different print side panel and the neckline is high so very like work appropriate. Now this hem here at the bottom, by the way definitely size up in this dress. I had to size up um, in this dress for it to fit really nice. Um, I did try on like my regular size and it fit me but um, I chose to size up because I just felt like for some reason this style of dress it almost like the smaller size almost looked too like it was made for petites. I don't know how else to explain it. Like the proportions felt like they were made for petites, not like a tall person like me. So I'm actually going to take this to the tailor and have this hem taken out because as you can see, so that's the inside of the dress. So there's like four inches of hem that can still come out of this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have it tailored and have them let this bottom hem out so that it's just above my knee and thus work appropriate. And I can throw a sweater or a blazer over this. And it's just such a fun, unique, sort of beautiful print um, for the summertime and the, and the springtime. But it's if I let that hem out, it's going to be perfectly work appropriate. And it's just going to give a nice um, pop of color and print to an otherwise simple outfit. Like if I just wear it with some nude heels and, you know, a black or navy blue blazer, it will just still look Look professional and nice and put together but it will have like a unique look to it so I always look for dresses that I can wear to work and for fun because this is like a fun party dress you know and I could keep it at that length if that's all I wanted to wear it for but to be honest with you when I spend you know money on a dress I want it to be more versatile so for me it's worth it to pay a little extra to have this hem taken out so that's it really pretty it's Rachel Roy at Macy's so um and that was 119 so I thought that was a pretty nice um you know, quality dress for the price. Okay. Next up, um, at J crew today, I actually ordered something online from J crew and I wish I would have, um, you know, popped it up on my iPhone. I got the, um, it's a, it's a blouse and it's black and white stripes and it has like buttons that go halfway down the front and it's like a silk blouse. I think it's called like the silk crepe something blouse. I'll, um, put a link down below for anyone who's interested who might want to check it out. Um, it's just such a beautiful blouse, such a classic piece. Um, it has like little um, buttons that go down the sleeve as well. It's just, I tried it on the store in the navy and bright green and I liked it, but I thought the black and white would be a little more versatile, a little more classic. So I went with that and they didn't have it in the store. So I had to order online and I did pay full price for both of these items because sometimes J. Crew like they'll have stuff and then they won't restock it and it will be sold out and they'll have a sale, but then you can't buy it because it's either not available in your size, it's out of stock, you know, the store doesn't have it. So with certain items that I really love, I don't like to chance it. Um, and this shirt that I got as well, this is one I bought in store today at J. Crew. Um, they didn't even have this on the website. Um, and this is a medium and it's a striped shirt. So it has like, um, it's like an off white and um, navy blue. It's like a navy bluish gray stripe all down the shirt. And then the top here, just the top is this beautiful um, hot pink color. So this, I like, you know, this shirt was like $45 and that's a lot to pay for a cotton shirt, but this is that nice thick cotton. And it's just, it's a good quality shirt. And I really think it looks nice on. And I'm really looking for shirts lately for work that have like a three quarter sleeve or like a, you know, a sleeve that goes just like how these ones are just above um, my wrist because sometimes like I don't want to layer a cardigan or wear a sweater or something over it. Sometimes I just want a top that I can tuck into a skirt and go. I don't want to fuss with all kinds of layers. And this is such a nice statement piece with the hot pink that I could just tuck this into a normal pencil skirt or any other skirt and it instantly and you know and put like a gold necklace on and it instantly looks put together without adding another layer. So I really like this shirt. Um, and by the way, just for sizing reference on that, I went with a medium, even though the medium wasn't as fitted as the small, the small was really too short. 
So I did get the medium for the length and the medium still fits wonderfully. So um, just as an FYI on that. Okay, and my last item in today's video is, um, are these jeans from Zara? And um, I was actually really impressed at how well these fit. They, they actually fit very closely to how the Gap Always Skinny fits. So when I tried these on, I just thought, oh great, like these look just as flattering and just as good as the Gap ones. These are like a minty green color. Um, these are a size, a, a US size six. So I would say they do fit true to size. I do usually take a four or six in bottom. So 27, 28, and these are 28. Um, and then in the store, actually, I'll just um, show you. In the store, they were shown rolled up like this. When they are rolled up, they are not the perfect length for me. I do have to roll them out for them to be the perfect length to wear like with flats or heels, but I don't mind that. I can roll them up for fun every once in a while. Um, so this is the front of them. And then in the back, they have these little pockets. Um, and the, they're a nice like denim. They're just like a nice denim material. And you know, I've, I'm actually on the lookout for all kinds of different like colored skinny jeans. I'd like a lilac pair. I'd like a bright pink pair. Um, but a lot of the brands are coming out with these and they're anywhere between a hundred and $179. And you know, these were only, these were $35.90, which I think is a great deal, especially for something that's like trendy. I mean, I think colored denim will probably last a couple more seasons, but when you're really investing in something, I like to invest in more classic pieces. So if I'm going to spend a lot on jeans, I'll get like black or dark, dark, dark um, denim because I know that's going to just be seasonless. It's going to transition from season to season. Whereas things like this, it's like I don't necessarily want to invest as much unless I found a pair that was like absolutely the most flattering thing I've ever seen. You know, then I might consider it. But, you know, for these minty green jeans, you know, they're flattering. They're a great price. I don't have to pay, you know, $160 for them. So I just thought these were a really great deal. And these are, it's called the Zara Traflock. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's what the tag looks like. So it's from a certain collection, which I suspect that's why they um, are so inexpensive. But I really love these. I've been looking for color jeans for a long time that I liked the fit of, and these definitely fit the ticket. Um, I'm looking around. I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate each and every single one of you. And um, I hope um, I'll see you in my next video. I don't hope. I know I'll see you in my next video because I'm about to film another one. So have a great day and um, have a great weekend. And thank you all um, for your incredible support and for watching my videos and for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate each and every single one of you. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Bye.